everyone, it's Chantel aka Glam Note and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the My Lash Lift Kit. I'm going to do a brow, a DIY brow lamination and lash lift. I've already done it, I will, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll find out what I think. There are some ups and some downs in this video so if you want to see that then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm super nervous to do this video. This could go terribly wrong. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by doing a brow lamination because uh, that is away from my eyes. And then depending on how that goes, I will do a lash lift. I'm, I'm a bit nervous, just, just, just a little bit. But then I'm also really excited because I've been doing soap brows recently and I've been really loving it. But my brow hairs are like really stubborn so they don't quite stay up the way that I want them to. So I'm hoping that the brow lamination will help with that. And then also my lashes, they just grow like straight outwards. They don't curl and it's something that's always bugged me. Hopefully this goes well. So I'm just gonna clip my hair back out my face. I'm using the My Lash Lift Kit. Um, you can use it for brow laminations, for eyelash lifts. Oh, I'm also going to be tinting my uh, eyebrows and lashes. So I'm going to start off by using their oil-free makeup remover, just on a cotton pad. I haven't actually got any uh, makeup on at the moment and I did uh, wash my face this morning, but um, I do just want to do this just to make sure. I'm just going to clean my eyebrows. Make sure that there's nothing on them. This kit didn't actually come with instructions. I think because it's a professional kit, I got this with my college kit. It didn't come with it didn't come with any instructions. So I had to go online and sort of figure out for myself what steps and how long to do each step. It did come with a primer. Out of all of the videos I watched none of them had a primer but i'm assuming that goes on before everything else so i'm gonna try it and see what happens oh, wow that smells Oof. oh that's strong okay so i'm just gonna go over my brows with the primer oh my god that literally just smells like alcohol what is in that it doesn't even have ingredients on the bottle it does say warning flammable though so i'm assuming it's just alcohol so now the next step is to use glue uh, a lot of what i was seeing uh people were just using just uh, like a normal like lash glue this kit came with a glue so i'm gonna use that one i also have a spoolie i'm just gonna take the glue and just brush it on the front part of my brows take the spoolie and just brush my brows up in the direction that I want them to go. Take some more glue on the ends of my brow and do the same thing. I'm brushing my brows directly upwards because I know from trying to do the soap brows that my brows are quite stubborn so I do want them to sort of lift as much as possible so that I know afterwards that they're not gonna just fall back down in a few days. I'm hoping this isn't gonna take long. I have a, a midwife appointment today so hopefully I can get this all done before I go. The only problem I've got is that I trim my lashes with scissors, uh, my lashes, I trim my eyebrows with just with normal like just like lash scissors. So as you can see from where I've tried to do soap brows and they're stubborn and not all of the hairs work. This brow is uh, longer than the other one. So with this, it all came in little packets, like individual packets, um, I'm assuming so that you don't waste any products. However, it does say that there's more than one use in these packets. And if you don't use them within 48 hours that you have to throw them away so I'm not sure if that is saving any more product or if you're wasting more product start off with the the lifting solution I'm only gonna squirt I, I don't I don't know how much I need actually so I'm just gonna put some in this little this little ring thing which is kind of cool 
Um, oh, it's like bright pink, right? I'm gonna try and save that for my lashes. A lot of people were cutting off the tops of, of cotton buds and using the, the stick, but this kit came with these, these little stick things. So I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna take some of this. I've done everything right before I put this on. Yeah, I think I've done everything right. And, oh, that smells. Oh, oh. why does everything smell? and apply this to my lashes. I'm assuming you have to apply quite a generous amount. I think that maybe using the cotton bag might even be better than this. I feel like this, oh, I feel like this would be good for, for eyelashes, these things. But I think for eyebrows, it's just a bit too small. I feel like I'm gonna be here forever doing this. So I am gonna take a cotton bag and just cut off the end. Oh, that went flying. Oh yeah, that's so much quicker. And make sure I get it right at the base of my lashes. Uh, my lashes, I keep saying lashes, my eyebrows. I think they're fully covered. I'm just going over again quickly just to make sure. I will say that I would recommend you finding a, a glue or an adhesive that is specifically for lash lifts or brow laminations because it's not quite the same as like a normal lash glue it's like it's dried so that it's it's like fully dried down and it's very um like hard almost like flaky feeling with all the brow lamination videos i've been watching they've been putting cling film over their eyebrows whilst it sets um i don't know why uh, you don't do it with a, with a lash lift, um, but I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to stick that over like that. This has got to stay on for 10 minutes. So I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so this has been on for 10 minutes now. So I'm just going to take this off. When I've been watching videos, people have just been removing this with, just with the cotton bud. They haven't been using anything else to remove it. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how you sort of guarantee that you've got it all off though, because this is this is hard. I might try it with a cotton pad. Oh! I don't know if it's because I've previously had orange, I previously dyed or well, bleached and dyed my eyebrows orange. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it seems to have removed the previous eyebrow tint that I had and my eyebrows look a little bit ginger. I will say it is definitely easier to get this off with a compad. I would do it that way if anybody is planning on doing it themselves. Just make sure that you're doing it upwards in the direction. Okay, so I'm gonna need Another one of the cotton buds and take the top off. Another one of these things. And then the next thing is the setting solution. So this is, oh, this one is bright blue. And then you just do the same thing that you did before, but with this. This one smells better. Definitely smells weird, but it smells a lot better than the other one. It smells almost like powdery sweets, like palm violets, but not like the smell of palm violets just like that powdery sweet smell. So this one definitely spreads a lot better than the other one. So I am just gonna go over this again, just because this is the setting solution. So I do want them to set. Another bit of cling film, place this over the top and come back in another 10 minutes. Okay, so this has been on for 10 minutes now. I'm just gonna take it off. I will say this one does feel a, a little bit weird. It's not like, it's not like burning, but it's definitely, there's like a tingle. Just keep an eye out for that. It's hard cause it's like, it, it doesn't look like it's entirely off, but then there's no like remover or anything. And I'm assuming that's cause you don't want to remove the glue. Okay, so this is about as much as I can get off without using some sort of makeup remover or something. This is gonna have to do. I don't know if the tint is gonna work if it's not like 
my brows do feel a little bit sore right now as well. I'm just gonna try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my tint now. I'm using the Appraise uh, tint system. So I'm just gonna go over my brows with this. Spun smiles at the end from where I shaved them. It's still growing back. And then I generally only put a little bit at the front of my brows. So uh, I'm just gonna leave this on for a few minutes and um, then I'll be back. Okay, so this has been on for a few minutes now. Uh, I'm gonna take it off. So um, I'm assuming that I'm okay to use a stain remover because um, I have to. I can't use anything else to take this off. So I'm like brushing that way rather than that way to take off the tint because I don't, I don't know what would happen. I'm now just gonna take a clean cotton pad just to make sure that I've got all that tint remover off so that it doesn't interfere with the next step. The next step is a nourishing solution. I'm assuming it's because my eyebrows feel very dry right now. I am going to apologize now. The angle and positioning of the camera has probably changed quite a lot um, during this video. Oh, that's clear. Oh no, it's not clear. It's like a, like a yellowy, it's very liquidy. I don't want to tip it out. I film on my phone, so during the 10 minutes that I've had to wait, I've moved my phone so that I could go on it. I have tried to <laughs> get it in the same <laughs> get it in the same position every time, but I probably haven't. Right, so the next bit is the uh, nourishing solution. I'm just gonna take that and apply. This just smells like um, like cleanser, like you know, like gel cleansers. I'm gonna put on quite a lot of this because I do want my eyebrows to feel nice. I don't want them to feel all dry and like this. And my eyebrows are feeling a little bit sore. So I'm hoping that this is gonna help. Then my last bit of cling film. This stays on for just a few minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then come back and take it off. Oh, actually, Whilst I'm waiting for this, I'm going to measure out my lash pads. So there's a medium, small, there's also a large. I didn't get the large out, I didn't think that I would need them. Small looks like this, and then a medium looks like this. Can't quite tell the difference. It looks like the small one is bigger than the medium. I'm going to go for a medium. I don't actually know how it works, what the difference is between a small and a medium. The small looks bigger than the medium, but I'm assuming small needs less of a lift. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go for a medium. It seems safe. <laughs> so this has been on for a few minutes now and I'm going to take it off. Get some, probably quite a few cotton pads now and just some micellar water. Okay, it doesn't feel like there's anything left on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take a spoolie and brush through them and there we go they are definitely lifted and even if i brush them through normally they're still definitely fluffier than before so i am going to leave them brushed up i'm probably going to go through at some point and just tidy them up a bit because they are different lengths although they don't look too bad the kit I have did come with a, a lash and brow conditioner, so I am just going to put some of that in, apply it. It does say you can use this daily. I will say my, my eyebrows do feel a bit sore. I don't know if that's from all the rubbing. And it says to just brush it through. So I do think that went well. I do like them. They do look very fluffy. Again, they're just not the same length. I need to go through and trim them. I'm probably going to do that when I put my makeup on in a bit. But they do look fluffy and laminated. That is what I wanted. So now I'm going to move on and try and do my lashes. Uh, what is the time actually? Half past twelve. Okay, I've got a good. I've got a few hours before I have to go out. It should be okay because obviously you can only do one at a time. With the lash lift, you need to get your pad. Um, and the glue to cover the pad with the glue. I'm going to leave that to go tacky for a minute and you have to apply this 
as close to my lashes as I can get there. This does feel very weird. <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to stick on my outer corner or on the inner corner. I can't know, it won't stick. <laughs> I don't know whether to try and apply some more glue. I don't know if it's because of the shape of my eyes or not, but it's not a sticking down on the inner corner or the outer corner. It's just not, it's just not sticking. I don't know whether to try and like trim it. Oh, my eyes watering now. I'm just gonna try and trim it on the inner corner. I put a little bit more glue than I did last time. And again, get it as close to my lash line as I possibly can. I think this is the best I'm gonna get it. And then you get glue. Oh, this feels so weird. I'll put it on the top of the pad. And they provided a tool. And just start sticking the lashes upwards. Might need some more glue. I do have just a few stubborn eyelashes. I'm just gonna put some glue on top of and continue to try and get them to stick. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> this feels so weird. Then I'm gonna take the lifting solution again. I'm gonna use that little thing that I didn't use for my eyebrows. And just apply that on the lashes. I will say this is like the strangest feeling ever. I really hope this works. <laughs> I'm hoping because the eyebrows went so well, that means that this is gonna go so well. So yeah, I will be back in 10 minutes and we will do the next step. Okay, so this has been on for about 10 minutes now. I'm just gonna use a cotton bud to take it off. This is really hard, you know? <laughs> this is so hard. I'm gonna get another one of my stick thingies. Go into the setting solution. Some of the lashes have started to unstick, which is a little bit annoying. Sorry if I'm not talking much. This is really hard. I'm really trying not to get it in my eyes. Whilst I'm waiting for this, uh, what is the time? 46. I'm going to start mixing up my lash tin. So uh, I'm gonna be using the appraise system again. I'm using blue black for my lashes. So my lash tin is ready. I'm just gonna wait and for this, and then I'll be back. So it's been about 10 minutes now. So I'm just gonna take this off. I don't know if you can see, but some of my lashes just aren't sticking anymore. I don't know if maybe I didn't put enough glue down. Uh, getting this off is so hard. So I'm now just gonna get my tint. I will say, I am starting to get a bit of a headache. I don't know if that's because I haven't had my glasses on for quite a while, or if it's because of this lash pad. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this on for a few minutes and then do the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking this off now using the tint remover and this time I'm just putting it on a cotton pad. I feel like this is gonna be so hard to get off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The problem is now is that the tint remover is removing the glue. I don't wanna re remove any more of the the glue before I put this on. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. All of the tint isn't off, I know that. Um, but I'm just gonna get that nourishing solution and I'm gonna put that on now. And then I'm gonna leave that on for a few minutes and come back and take the pad off, take the nourishing solution off, get the rest of the tint off and then I'm done. I will say I am very impressed with my brows. I do really, really like them. I feel like this is definitely something that I'm gonna be doing a lot. The eyelashes, I'm not too sure on. This is really uncomfortable. I'm getting a headache. And part of me is so tempted not to do the other eye. But <laughs> the brows, I will definitely do again. They are still a little bit sore, but it is going away. I think the brows just look so good. Obviously they need tidying up, they need a trim. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I'm now gonna take this off. I'm just going to move my lashes back and forth, loosen them up from the pad. I'm going to take this pad off. Oh, that feels so good. And then go back in with that tint remover. 
So it turns out getting tint off your own lashes is really hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and do it with a cotton pad. Now I'm gonna get some eye makeup remover and try and get that glue off of my eyelid. Just grabbed another spoolie. Get some of that conditioner again. Apply that to my lashes and brush it through. Okay, let's get a close up. So I don't know if you can see, they are definitely lifted, but nowhere near as much as I'd hoped. I just wish it had been a little bit more, but there we go. I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera because that was a lot of work. I will then come back and show the finished result, put a bit of makeup on, see if I feel any better and give my final thoughts. Okay, so I've done the other eye. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not impressed to be honest. I feel like for the amount of work that it took, it definitely wasn't, wasn't worth it. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that maybe if I put on a little bit of mascara that it might look better. But obviously the whole point of a lash lift is that you don't need to wear mascara, so that's a little bit annoying. I did trim my brows so they didn't look so wild. I'm obsessed with the brows. The brows I'm definitely going to do again. I think that's going to be something that I do on a regular basis from now on. I, I do really, really like them. So I'm going to go and throw on a bit of makeup, see what happens with putting mascara on. Actually, uh, what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll put mascara on on camera so that I can show you that. Um, but I'm gonna go do my base, do my brows, everything else, um, and then come back. So I'm back, I've put on my makeup, um, filled in the sparse bits of my brows. Uh, I won't lie, I'm obsessed with the brows. I love the brows. Um, the lashes, again, like I haven't put anything on them yet. The lashes I'm very disappointed with. I'm using the Be Perfect Bad Llama Mascara, it's one of my favourites. So I'm going to do one side without curling it and the other side with curling it, just to see the difference. So yeah, pretty much nothing. No different to how my lashes normally are. I'm a little bit annoyed. I thought maybe adding mascara might help but it honestly doesn't look any different. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Yeah, um, I don't know. Obviously there is a difference between the two, or even then, not really. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed to be honest. All that time, I'm putting those weird things on my eyes and it didn't work. Uh, I don't know if I did something wrong. Um, if anybody knows, please tell me. Um, I don't think I did anything wrong. I did the exact same thing on my lashes that I did on my brows. I will put in the description the makeup that I'm wearing today. I tried the Lottie London uh, freckle tint for the first time today. I don't know. Some of them are a bit big. I think it's definitely a sort of learn as you go. I also want to talk about my highlight. I got the Amrazy highlighter dupe that's on Amazon for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's so good and it's it, you can layer it so well. So obviously at the moment I, I've still got quite a lot on but I, I'm only going to see the midwife so <laughs> I don't want to put too much on. You can layer it up so well and it looks so good and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I definitely recommend this. So yeah, this is uh, this is a video of me uh, DIY brow lamination and lash uh, lash brow lamination and lash lift. <laughs> I definitely recommend the brow lamination. That was so easy. It was so quick. I'm going to be doing it all the time. The lash lift. I, I'm not going to bother doing it again, unless somebody can tell me that I did something terribly wrong. I'm not doing that again. I'm not putting myself through that. <laughs> it's, it was too much stress, it was uncomfortable and it didn't work. I don't really know what to say, it's not even like I can blame it on the product because the brows are fine, I don't know. Um, if you could like, comment and subscribe that would be amazing. Let me know what you want me to film next. I've been in a bit of a rut to be honest, I haven't done any filming recently. I think the last video that I filmed was the, the Boohoo Maternity video and that was a while ago. I got loads and loads of new makeup. Actually, yeah, comment down below, let me know. Would you like me to do a video with the Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds palette? I have, what else is new? The Be Perfect Love Tahiti palette. 
I also have the Kimchi Naomi Smalls palette. I have the um, Unicorn Cosmetics Wicked palette. I have the Unicorn Cosmetics Tota Totemic. To is it Totemic? I think it's Totemic palette. I think they're all my new ones. But yeah, any of those, if you want me to do a video with them, I will. I was originally going to do like um, first impressions videos with them when I got them, but I just didn't get around to it. So if that is something that you would like to see, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.